welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danny, and this is Coffee Break with Danny. So happy to be doing this video for you. We will get to our favorites here shortly. Thank you to Billy for sponsoring our monthly favorites. And if you guys are unfamiliar, you're not. You are all familiar with the adorable razors that you hang in your shower. I have been using Billy. I don't know, probably for almost the entire time that I've been on YouTube. And I actually discovered Billy because I would always steal my significant other at the time's razor. Why is it that men's razors have more blades, they're more aggressive, they get all the hair, like why? What I don't I don't need mine to be pink. Okay, but it helps if, if it is if it's nice and colorful I don't but you know what I have said it before and I will say it again I am part woolly mammoth and during the winter. It's like those dogs that get a winter coat. I get a winter coat So let's talk about it. I'm wearing my Valentine's Day sweater on purpose because we are all gearing up for the everything shower Y'all know what I'm talking about do you know what the everything shower is? If you don't, you probably don't know. It's called the everything shower. That's the one where you shampoo, you do the body scrub, you shave all six feet of hair that you have. Okay, the everything shower needs to be put in the calendar and it should be considered a workout. But thanks to Billy, I don't suffer as much as I used to. Just kidding, I mean, I don't suffer, but it is nice to have this option. We actually have Billy's in our shower hanging right now. I bought one for Parker, oh yeah! My husband uses a Billy razor. He, he wants to save on that pink tax as well. <laughs> so we have our two razors hanging in the shower. This is an upgrade for me. I wanted to do something sparkly and cute, my goodness. When you have the daunting everything shower looming, it's nice to know there's one less thing that you need to worry about. So I'm gonna insert some footage, but if you get the starter kit, all you need is 10 bucks, you guys. So the starter kit comes with two heads, the handle and the little magnetic piece that you stick in your shower. I have never had to replace the adhesive. I did when we redid our bathroom but it was stuck on there real good. So for $10, you guys, two heads, the handle, like I said, the pink tax, like why is it that girl stuff is more expensive? That's not fair. If you guys were also interested in the brand, they do have whipped shaving cream. You guys know how I feel about shaving cream. I don't want the mousse. I don't want the thin stuff. I don't want the gel. I don't want the oil. I want it to be thick. And one of the benefits of Billy razors is, do you see the, the blades? There is a really big gap in there. So if you shave with thicker products like I do, because we also have alligator skin. No, anyone else? I'm like a mammoth alligator. They get clogged so easily. Plus the inch of hair that it shaves off my legs. <laughs> you guys don't believe me, but if you are squeamish, close your eyes for the next like five seconds because I'm gonna show you what I mean by when I shave my legs, I can braid it beforehand, okay? But look. When you do the everything shower or when you're getting ready for Valentine's Day, not all hair is the same. And when you're prepping all the situation to get ready and look nice and slippery like a seal, some hair has a variety of coarseness and it needs to be able to work the same. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Knock it clogged, leave you nice, silky and slippery and cover all your bases. So if you guys have been interested in Billy, if you're already fans of Billy, if you already use Billy, if you can't stop hearing about Billy or you see it all the time, this is your hint. This is your clue. This is your sign that you need to get yourself a Billy. So if you guys use the code Danny10, you're gonna save 10% off your order of $20 and get free shipping. Here's the thing too. With these razors, I feel like they last longer, like the, the razor edge lasts longer for me. Your starter kit already comes with two. And if you forget everything or your calendar already looks like a bag of Skittles because there's so many things on there, you could set like the auto ship where you get the blades delivered automatically. Look, the everything shower is around the corner. Whether or not you celebrate Valentine's Day or it's your anniversary or you're choosing to shave your legs. Because remember ladies, shaving is a choice. Sometimes we shave our legs because we want to feel the sheets up against our skin. Not because we want to feel our spouse up against our skin. You know what I mean? Like it's for us. So if you're making the choice 
to shave your woolly mammoth alligator skin legs for Valentine's Day or because it's your monthly everything shower. Try Billy, you guys, 10 bucks for the starter kit. Add a couple of things, $20. Danny, 10, gets you 10% off. I'm super excited to try the body buffer. I haven't tried this guy, but you guys know the shave cream. I've talked about it in my favorites before. <laughs> Look, it does match my nails. It's so cute. I guess I had it on my mind or something and I like manifested it. The shave cream is awesome. I think it comes in two different scents. This is supposed to prep your skin before you shave. So I'm gonna help the alligator-ness come off with this and then I'll go in and take the woolly mammoth-ness just to just like a couple notches down. Anyway, all the information for Billy will be listed in the description box of this video. If you're here for favorites, let's talk about it. You wanna know what's on my lips. But before, let me hydrate because I've been talking a lot and your girl is thirsty. Actually, this is one of my favorites. Believe the hype. Okay, sure it doesn't have a handle, but I don't remember the last time that I was like, gosh, I really wish I had a handle that makes it really hard for my cup holder or makes my bottle extra big. I am a huge straw person. I need to have a straw, but I like the fact that this is not exposed. So whether or not you're a guzzler or a straw drinker, oh my gosh, these Awala cups, Tumblers, bottles, I don't know. It gives you the option. Do you see the two? Do you see the two? Wait, hold on, let me block my face, there we go. If you guzzle, here you go. If you drink with the straw, it's right there. You just gotta make sure you close it. Some people are not fans of closing things. It's not a fan. Some people aren't fans of closing things. You just gotta remember to close it. It doesn't spill. It's actually leak proof. But these things are amazing! It keeps your drinks cold. And if you're a guzzler or you're a straw drinker, like, I can't say that enough. Like, mm-hmm. Maybe don't get it on your Cupid's bow. I'm, like, trying really hard to make a point here. I'm a straw person. I will forever be a straw person. And with those tumblers that have the straw, like, it's not leak-proof. And it also, the straw is exposed. So you're like, here, everybody, touch my straw. Here, it's hidden. And it matches my nails. I'm telling you, this color, like this color scheme has just been on my mind recently. Get yourself one of these. It fits in your cup holder. It's awesome. I love it. I'm a fan. I might fight someone at Target for one of these. Just saying. Okay, now we can talk about what's on my lips because that's probably what you're wondering. So the Ulta lip stains, I discovered these by chance during the holidays. It came in a gift set. I'll show you. I have the other ones here. They have several different shades. I think they have three or four shades. This is all that's on my lips right now. It stood the test of Korean barbecue. I was gonna say stood the test of time, but no, Korean barbecue. Like that's longer than time because you sit there for three or four hours eating greasy meat and your lips stay the same. Do not sleep on the stains from Ulta because they are incredible. This is gonna cause a commotion because apparently you get attacked by spiders. The new Sol de Janeiro Del Delicia, Delicia, Delicia Drench Body Butter. Oh, it's so good. If you have alligator skin, if you love things that smell sweet but subtle and don't compete with your fragrance, and you want a lotion that feels like a rich emollient body butter that you can feel on your skin, not because it leaves you oily, greasy, or with a residue, but it feels like like your body is drinking it up and it just makes your skin soft and supple. Oh my gosh. The texture's a little funky trunks. Like it's, it's thick, but almost lumpy. Like if you have a very cold bathroom or a cold drawer, wherever you keep it, it's, it's almost like semi-solid, but the minute you put it in your hands, it's like melts into your skin. It smells incredible. Like very, like a hint of cupcakes and I haven't been attacked by spiders. So there's that. There hasn't, I haven't seen a recall or anything on it. I haven't made a friend or noticed anything, you know, very Halloween-esque. So as, as far as that goes, I really, really have enjoyed it. We do have another fragrance, I guess, related item. These two together, oh my goodness. So this fragrance wasn't at Ulta until recently. And when it was directly on their site, it would sell out. And it would come back in stock, and it would sell out, and it would go back in stock, and it would sell out. Now that Ulta has it, it's sold out. But I randomly walked into an Ulta with my son Mateo, and there was a display right there in the front. Like the minute you go through those little security buzzers, right there, they had a little display. 
and they only had one left. So I think it was a sign that I needed to get it in my life. This, I won't describe it to you, but what I will say is it's sexy, sweet, and a little masculine. It is a very, very good perfume for those of you that can't pull off the flower bombs. I'm still salty about that. I'm, I'm always gonna talk about it to kingdom come. I will always rant about flower bomb smelling really bad on me. But if you can't pull off the flower bombs, you might be able to pull off Sweet Ash by Sniff. Not the other ones. The other ones, they don't smell very good. But this one has a very sweet, smoky, masculine. I guess for me, the smokiness is the masculine aspect of it, but it just smells amazing. It's the perfect wintry, chilly weather perfume, like sexy marshmallows, you know? <laughs> If you want to smell like sexy marshmallows, this is where it's at. And because you're doing your everything shower and you're getting rid of the woolly mammoth and the alligator and you're becoming a seal to be slippery for the day of love, also smell like a smoky marshmallow. No? I mean, that would be a great ad, wouldn't it? I think so. Anyway, don't sleep on that. Love that fragrance. Man, I am so enthusiastic today, you guys. If you guys are a uh, part of team three baby hairs, like, as if I didn't have issues with my hair already, I went and I chopped it off. Like, I'm already bald, and I decided to get even balder. But this length is my favorite all-time length, and I feel like the shorter it gets, the thicker it looks. It's all about faking it, you know what I mean? And if you need some help faking it, I discovered these as a sale. Like, Ulta was having a sale on certain hair products, and it was like, do you struggle with volume? And I was like... Don't act like you know me. Yes, I do. I do struggle with volume. So I already used the Biolage Volume Bloom Shampoo and Conditioner, but they have a full lift volumizer spray, and then they also have an all-in-one. I don't know why this bottle is so dirty. I think it's stained. Okay, good. It wasn't me. Whew. An all-in-one treatment. So I bought these when my app was having like a sale and they were like, hey, you're a diamond because you spent too much money here. Do you want to take advantage of this sale and spend more money? I'm like, yes, I do. This guy here, you spray it in your roots before you blow dry. This guy here, you spray it everywhere. This is gonna be your detangler, your leave-in conditioner, your heat protectant spray, and you get this. I mean, do I look bald? I don't think I do. Isn't that crazy? Like subtle. Okay, maybe not. Not super subtle, let me, let me make it look a little subtle. These two, you guys, if you are in the fine hair club, okay, the three baby hair club, you need those two. Wow, that enthusiasm. Um, it is winter and everyone has crusty lips right now. And if you are team raisin lips and crusty lips, it is a bad combination. It's that like toxic relationship you can't break free from. Don't do it. Like, don't. So Team Raisin Lips, for those of you that are unfamiliar, are the people like me that have a lot of texture on our lips. Our lips aren't dry. We just got texture. You know, we got curves, but on our, on our lips, not on, not on our bodies. And in the winter, when you get chap lips, it's like chap lips on steroids. It looks even worse, and it hurts a lot. Uh, that's my haiku. The La Roche-Posay Sika Plast. Lèvres. Okay, th this repairing balm from La Roche-Posay, one day. You put it on for one day and it all goes away. And the, you use it for a day, it gets better. The whole point is to not get so bad where your lips, you know, get dry, chapped, and painful. The point is to avoid that. So this is a really great healing product, but also a maintenance product. It's a 5% panthenol. I don't know what that means, but I know it works and it is a miracle. And I know this because I had really bad dry lips. I used it for a day. Maybe I applied it three or four times, like when I walked to pick up the kids or whatever, after I washed my face. And then I think later that day or the next day, I tested out a new lip product that had some protectant in it or sunscreen. It reached at my lips. I was like, all the work we did, so I started using it again and I felt fine again. It like, it repaired my lips. I don't know, it's like, what is in here? What is the sorcery? I don't know, but La Roche-Posay knows where it's at. So don't be team Raisin Lips, team Three Baby Hairs, team Woolly Mammoth. Like we got, like, we got plenty of stuff to worry about, you know? Then to be worried about like crusty lips for everything shower day. We're almost done.
then, okay, if you don't like the stain look and you are on the bandwagon for lip oils, <laughs> Undone Beauty also found that at Ulta. So these are amazing and they smell really good. This one is my favorite for, I look like I tried a little bit because it has a little bit of sparkle. And this one's my favorite as a chapstick alternative. So this guy, I only have one. And I'm afraid to put it in my purse, which is also one of my favorites. I'm afraid to put it in my purse. I don't want to lose it. I don't want to forget it. I don't want to go back into the car and get, I need an extra so I can have one at home and one in my bag. So like my everyday non-chapstick chapstick is going to be the watercolor rose. Look at these giant doe foots. So cute. I do have to say, I have a complaint. In the Ulta store, the display says oil. When you look for it online, it says gloss. It's an oil. And I can say that because I've tried every oil in the history of the world. This is like a gel-like oil. And I'm doing two swatches of something that you can barely see, but just roll with me. And I'm putting it on the back of my Skeletor hand. There you go. Do you see that sparkle? Oh, that's nice. And you see the slow drip? It's definitely an oil. That's the pink one. That's the shimmery one. The shimmery one is called Radiant Clear. So those two, you guys, and I'm pretty sure Undone is a clean brand at Ulta. And it's like a drugstore price clean brand at Ulta. I would have put it on my lips, you guys, but I'm kind of rocking the stain right now and I want to milk it. Big Bush Brow. Holy mackerel. This is from Urban Decay. It is new. Came out recently. Comes in a ton of colors. I have two. I'm wearing uh, Nana something today. Neutral Nana. When I use brow pencil, I use Neutral Nana. When I wear it on just my brows with nothing else, like on those no makeup makeup looks, I use brown sugar because it's a little bit darker. So it adds a little pigment. The cool thing about these guys is, I'll show you guys the wand. Do you see how the wand has a side to it. It has like two different sides. So it's going to give you hair like strokes. It has pigment. It locks in your brows, but it also has brow fibers. So it's going to lock in color, shape, your hair, but also add on like extra hair. Today's maybe not a good example of it because I have brow pencil underneath, but I wear it on days when I don't do a full face of makeup where I just do mascara, gloss, and brows, and it looks incredible. And I love that you're in control of how much color because of the two sides of the brush. It's brilliant, you guys. My lashes. You're probably looking at my lashes. This is one coat, one coat since doing a lash lift. All I need is one coat of mascara. Now, I tried this before my lash lift and two coats was giving me tarantula, okay? So I know some of you aren't on the tarantula bandwagon. We are, we are the president. This is one of those very ruthless HOAs where we are true to our convictions with tarantula lashes. And so the Bambi Eye Mascara from L'Oreal, the one in the silver tube, is gonna do this to your lashes. I know a lot of you are gonna be like, I really don't want that to ever happen to my lashes. But if you're like, Danny, how did you get those doe eyes? I'm gonna say <laughs> this one, this one right here. It does have a silicone wand. It has a wet mascara. So you see how wet it is? It's, it's wet leaning on moussey, but it's a little more wet than moussey. But I don't know what it is about that wand that really just, you know what I'm saying? That's my doe eye mascara tarantula leg sound. Okay, and the last two beauty products. We have one more, but it's not here and I, I'm gonna forget. The two sponges that I talked about recently on my vlog, I found these two from Real Techniques as I was waiting to pay and then suddenly I had to give Ulta more of my money. There's a four pack of these tiny sponges. This has replaced my Beauty Blender blusher. So this is the Beauty Blender blusher. This is the Real Techniques one. Not the same, not dupes, but does the same job. So this, the price of this, you get four of these. That sounds like a good deal to me. I used it today in a get ready with me. And then this little guy comes in a three pack. I can't even describe this to you. It just makes me happy. So it feels almost like a wetsuit. It has, it has like a very smooth wetsuit kind of feel to it like spongy, but it's like 
it's porous, but it feels like it's non-porous, like, like a silicone wetsuit. It's very, anyway, you put your finger underneath it like that, and it's the perfect size for your raccoon eyes. You know, like you get in there. It's great for touch-ups, but for me, it's like amazing for just setting my under eye concealer and then forgetting about it. Like just moving on with my life. It's just, I wish it came in a little case. You know, it's just, I haven't washed it though. I'm a little scared because I'm very aggressive with everything, especially with washing things. And I'm afraid of how to clean these. Maybe I could just put them in the washing machine in one of those like lingerie bags. But yeah, I wish it had a little sleeve or a case or something for it. But you definitely, if you wanna get in there and like the raccoon area of your eyeballs, it's perfect for that. The next thing is in my car. Don't leave your purses in the car. It's a terrible habit. I can't break it. It's been 35 years. I can't stop leaving my purse in the car. I park in the garage. Oh God, don't break into my house. Okay, I will insert some footage. I am a handbag snob. I was a handbag snob. If I was gonna drop coin, it was gonna be on a really luxury purse. Like that was my thing. For me, it was a sign of accomplishment. So like I get to a goal and then I treat myself to a bag. As I've gotten older, I just, it's about practicality, about run, like grab and go. Are you big enough to hold my secrets? That's it, that's all I care about and, and, and move on. And so I found this bag at uh, Walmart. It comes in five colors and I swear to you guys, after using it for uh, three, almost four months now, I am, this word only comes out for special occasions, obsessed with it, everything fits in it. And I tried, I was like, oh, so maybe I'm a micro bag person now. I tried to switch over to another micro bag that looked like a quilted Chanel. It was a dupe, it's like, it was like $7 or something. I tried to switch over and I was pissed at the bag. I was like, well, what are you? You are useless. You are as micro as you appear, like that's all you do. And the Walmart, the Walmart bag is the same size, but everything fits in it. It's easy to use. It's easy to wear. It's easy. It matches everything. Oh my gosh. I took everything out of it to switch it over before I had that moment with rage with the other micro bag. And I was like, where did all this stuff fit? And it never looked like it was jam packed full over the top crazy. You know, I was like, wow, that's incredible. It's my new favorite purse. I hope it really withstands the test of time because I think it's like $12. <laughs> so those are my monthly favorites. Anyway, if you guys are gearing up for your everything shower, yes, I feel like it's a momentous occasion. You do have to like put it in the calendar. You do have to plan for it mentally, emotionally, like you have to prepare for your everything shower. So if you guys are preparing for your everything shower and you need to remove your alligator skin and you need to give your woolly mammothness a haircut, all the information for Billy will be listed in the description box of this video. If you guys use the code Danny10, you will get 10% off your purchase of $20 or more in including free shipping. If you guys wanna be razor besties, I'll list the name of the handle, like the color of the handle that I have, this one and, and the other one, in the description box of this video. I will also make sure to list and link all of the stuff that we talked about, ranted and raved about in this video. I hope that all of the odds are in your favor with your everything shower. I hope you don't pull a muscle because that's at the age that I am now. And I hope that all of your slippery like a seal dreams come true. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys so much. And you know what to do if you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs>